Welcome! You're watching What Can I Do at MyTelescope.com. Well, you'll take control of a remotely operated telescope and point it at a dark night sky. And when the moon is not up, then with the wide field of view spotting camera, you can clearly see the Milky Way, our very own galaxy. And there's a real-time sky chart overlay that will help you to learn the night sky. And you control what components of the sky map are displayed, and it's all happening on the live video feed from your spotting camera. What you're looking at here is an actual telescope session where the spotting camera was used to view a pass of the International Space Station as it crossed over the telescope site. This particular session shows the spotting camera image as the telescope is doing a slew to Jupiter. Moving on to the primary camera, we'll use this session to show some planetary imaging. Note Jupiter is very low to the horizon and there is a slight veiled cloud. With a series of images taken just a second apart, you can easily see the effect of the atmosphere when you're imaging this close to the horizon. And with a neutral density filter to tame down the brightness of the moon, you can explore our planet's one and only natural satellite. There's already a history of space travel to the moon, and in this session, we were looking at the Apollo 11 and 17 landing sites. Our search feature will retrieve object coordinates by name or catalog number. And you'll find the popular Messier objects displayed directly on the sky map and on the spotting camera overlay. In this session, we're using the integrated stacking feature to stack multiple exposures of the deep space object Messier 27. And here's a color image composition of the same deep space object, M27. The color channels were collected using red, green, and blue filters. The color data was then combined using MyTelescope.com's Color Image Composer. On March 5, 2009, we used the sky chart and the spotting camera to locate Comet Lulin. And here you're seeing the result of about 20 minutes of time-lapsed imaging. You have been watching a sampling of What Can I Do at MyTelescope.com.